Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today, today is the day. Today is the day where we unbox and look at my Velky Pataki. Now, I paid $205 total and that included shipping. And the box weighs it's almost four pounds. So, you know, I was telling Bill, I'm like, for what I paid, this doesn't seem like a very heavy box, but it isn't heavy, very heavy. All right, so we're just gonna cut into it. So I ordered this on February 27th of 2021, and it came on Saturday. So it came, no, Friday. It came on Friday, January 21st. So 11 months, essentially, it took. And, um, so if you wind up ordering one, just be prepared to wait. So it comes wrapped. It looks like they wrapped it like in this plastic. I mean, the box came perfect. There is, um, you know, it's not beat up or banged up or anything, which, you know, thinking about the journey it took from the Ukraine, because that's where the company is. Now I went on their website today or I tried to, to see the size of it, like give you the dimensions. Um, for some reason, I'm not able to get on their website. It gives me like this weird domain thing. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And then it is wrapped in brown paper. And then there's a box. So I'm guessing how do you get this puppy open? It looks like this should lift up. Is this like the Lowry box? Oh no, okay. It, it comes like this, there we go. Let's put this to the side. And then when you pull it out, pull it out. It's like one of those Russian things, like a, those Russian dolls, a box within a box, within a box, within a box. The box is very sturdy though. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so when you open it up, it comes in this bag. And this bag is a heavy felt. It's pungent, like, um, it smells like glue, almost. Okay, so I have to give them that. They really wrap these things very, very well. Okay. I even forgot what color I got because it had been so long <laughs> since I ordered it. So the color I got, okay, I got the gray one. Ooh, it's very pretty though. Okay, I'm gonna have to tilt my camera down more so you guys can, I had a hell of a time trying to figure out the angle because then you couldn't see my face totally, but that's okay. Okay, so here it is. Very smooth, nice gray. The bottom, smooth this adjusts this way so there's felt here and i'm guessing you remove that do you you got to right maybe that was just to protect it from getting scratched up okay In shipping and obviously how you adjust it really it's not gonna go back on there <laughs> patience grasshopper right okay and it has the Velky Pataki is like engraved down in here now they have a bunch of colors they have like yellow and blue they have a, a couple of cool colors. They didn't have, if I remember, like a teal. I would have gotten a teal in a heartbeat, but I feel like I should have gotten a better color. I don't know. I figured gray would go with everything. But you can adjust it this way, how you want it towards you, and then tighten this. We're going to have to play with it because... But everything tightens, and it doesn't. it's not going anywhere. This is the important part, right? You can see... 
This turns completely around, which is what I had wanted. And then this expands the clamp. I mean, it, it is literally as simple as that. There isn't very much to this, but it's just made very, very well. So here is my 11 by 11 Q-snap, which fits fine in here. You know what I'm tempted to do? We'll see how this holds it. I'm pretty sure it holds it good because I've seen a couple videos. Yeah, I mean, look, that's not going anywhere. Holy hell. That is like, that's going to be so awesome to work at a retreat. What I, now flipping this around, see how it like, I think you have to loosen it a little bit. I'm going to loosen this just a little. And it's, you can't flip it around like that. Wait a minute, let me see something. If you put it back, obviously you have to play around with these stands to, um, it will flip all the way around that way if you have it like up a little bit. But, you know, I have a way now where I finish my threads on the front and the back. I mean, on the front where I don't have to flip my work over. So I wouldn't even have to do that. What you would easily be able to flip your work over, though, is if you worked on um, a hoop. Because, see, at a retreat, I will have this on a tabletop. I know you can't see my face, but I will have this on a tabletop and then, and it just fell. <laughs> you got to tighten it. Okay. It's not going anywhere now. Um, I will have this on a tabletop and then be working like this. And what's nice is that I, I like that it folds down completely flat and it can fit easily in my suitcase. Now, where this will also fit hoops, so you could easily put a hoop in here and be able to flip it to the other side to the back with no problem. What I might do, just so I might put like those little, um, we have like those little felty feet for like to protect the countertops in the kitchen. So I might put those on the bottom here where it hits in the corners, just so it, it won't like once it stays, it's not moving. Now, I know most people wanted to see if you could use this as um, in your lap, and some people did. So I'm going to pause the video, push this little laptop table out of the way, and, um, but yeah, it's not, let me turn it to the side. It's, it's not going anywhere. Like, this is not moving. It's not falling. It's not doing anything. Now, I probably wouldn't use um, higher a bigger size than 11 by 11 because you probably wouldn't be able to, it might not support it. Eight by eight, six by six, if you're inclined to use that or 11 by 11. I think this would even hold a 14 by 14 because you can buy an extender kit for um, this that extends it to make it a 14 by 14. But I absolutely love it. It is just, it's such a wonderfully compact stand. Okay, so let's just, and I mean, look, you can pick it up with one hand. I'm going to push this out of the way. Get out of there. Okay. We're going to pretend I'm sitting here and I want to stitch in my lap. I'm going to have to move. I'm going to have to adjust this back some so it's up. Okay, can I stitch with this like this? Absolutely! Oh my God, it really doesn't go anywhere. Like unless, you know, this is fantastic. Oh my God. This could be a game changer if I feel like stitching downstairs. Now, I'm not sitting in a recliner. You know, this chair is, is doesn't move and everything. But oh my God, yes, you could absolutely use it in your lap. You see, I just have it sitting here. It's not, I mean, if you move, but... When you're stitching, choo, choo. yeah, absolutely. It's not really, it's not going anywhere. Now, could you put it like here? 
it's not it's not high enough to do that in my opinion this doesn't go back far enough let me put this back as far as it will go and we'll try that again okay that's as far back as it goes it's not going to be high enough you're not going to be able to put it between your i mean i get no i can't even get my hand underneath this way absolutely now i know it's pricey I mean, but it's all, it's made to order. It's made as you order it. And um, everything is, is very smooth and there are no sharp edges and it's gorgeous. It absolutely is gorgeous. I just like, because I've had a couple lap stands where this winds up falling. Um, the knobs don't stay tight. This, absolutely. Yes. So you could use it in your lap like this. Or you could, like I said, on a tabletop. The tabletop is what I really want it for because um, at a retreat. Now, at a retreat too, because sometimes I'll have like my iPad and my chart and stuff. I will have that sitting on the table and then I could have this on my lap. Because you, you have room like to scoot your chair back usually. Um, I'll have to play around with it at a retreat. Absolutely. But yeah, I love it. I mean, here it, there it is from the side. It's gorgeous. It's so well made. You can tell. And yeah, I mean, this is not coming out. It's not moving. It's not doing anything, right? It's not moving until you want it to move. And um, yeah, that was my biggest concern for that. Now, would it hold scroll rods? No, absolutely not. I, I would not recommend scroll rods for this. Hoops or Q-snaps. But yeah, I mean, you can see it's, like I said, it's very, very light. But like I said, that's the only thing. If they would have put, like, the, either the silicone dots or, like, the felty ones, something to kind of make it grip when you set it down on the table, kind of like my, um, the Dubco stand has the silicone ones. That way, this would stand would probably be absolutely perfect because you also don't want it to get scratched up, right? So maybe they'll take that little note. But yeah, would highly recommend this if you're willing to wait and you really want something that, because, I mean, you saw how, I'm going to show you how um, compact it folds up. All you do to fold it up, I mean, look how, look how small and quick and easy that would fit in your suitcase and in my weekender bag that I'm going to be trying to use on my next retreat. I mean, this will fit in there and piece of cake. Yeah. I mean, really good workmanship. Really, really love this. I'm really glad that I got it. Now my next retreat's not until April, but I can't wait to take this and use it. So that's it. Um, I will link their website down below, even though I couldn't get on it. <laughs> I don't know if it's the domain or what's going on, but it, it kept giving me an error or it's my computer. I can get on other things, so I don't know. But as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.